Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have another exciting uh, subscription box open for you. Yeah, this is one of our favorite things to open every month. For sure. British candy box. Yes, yes. Another so one. I feel like this is our third box we've received. Yeah, I think we have three four. regular ones and then a holiday or Christmas Okay, one. so this is number four from this company? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, we're loving it. We're oh, yeah. learning a ton. We're trying all kinds of new things. And you always are saying things in the comments like, I'm surprised you haven't had this yet or that yet or yeah. whatever. We love uh, Maybe we you. will in this box. And um, so yeah. I think we're going to open it up. We love and hearing from you guys. What we got. And while John is doing the honors there, I want to say hello and welcome if you're new or welcome back if you're not. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel while we're here, or while you're here. We're going to be here no matter what. Uh, and hit the little bell Ding. so you can be notified when our new videos do go up, which is every day. We just never know what time. Dun, 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 dun. And more tape. There they there are. There they are. All right. Hey, okay, Alex. I'll hold this. Right. So this is packaged a little bit differently. Can you pull the whole thing out? Uh, yeah. That's the done. There we go. Out of the box. Look at that. So we'll open it right along with you. So let's show. This is Kate and Alex. This with them on YouTube, if you've never checked them out before. And we love their channel. Yeah. They're also on Instagram and Twitter and a million other places. But we started watching them and they are part of the inspiration for our channel. Yeah. They are brother and sister and they try food. A lot of Americans, I think it's mostly Americans that send them things, but yeah. sometimes from other countries as well. Yeah. And they just try the food and review it and say what they think and whatever. And so um, now we're doing the same with their box, which is super exciting for us. Let's see what we got. I know I don't. Usually it is a ah. variety of savory and sweet, and this has been no exception. Whoa. Some of our favorite things in the world are the crunchy bits that we get and um, crisps or chips. I wonder, I want to know in the UK, so we always get comments about it's crisp here. We we understand we're old. We've been calling them chips our whole life. So just please forgive us if we say <laughs> chip. But my question for you is if you have something that's not a potato chip, like another crunchy Bit. thing. Yeah. Like for us, Fritos, m most commonly we say the brand name. Even, right. if, it's Even if it's a generic corn yeah. chip, we say Fritos. But I'm wondering, is crisp a generic term for all the crunchy, savory kind of snacks that are similar? Right. I'm just curious. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll pull all this stuff out and then we'll eat. Oh, 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 yes. Savory to sweet. Some of our favorite things have come in these boxes. We know that we love, love prawn cocktail chips. chips yeah. Love. So let's see, or crisps. <laughs> we'll see if there's a new favorite in here. So this is, a, what do you have? I got some Watsits. Okay, but what, you have, I just want you to pull yeah. on here. Where there's is, all and like that's the candy, right? Candy. Okay. So we have frazzles that are crispy bacon. Ooh, nice. And these say, um, these are from Jacobs, and they say baked crinklies, cheese and onion flavor. Yep. What's it? Which like, we've had before, and yeah. I know that I love. Mm -hmm. What Very flavor nice. are they? They're regular. They're just the regular. Okay. Yep. And then real hand cooked sea salt and malt vinegar chips mm. or crisps. Sorry. All right. So, what do you want to start with? I'll let you choose. Uh. I don't know. Let's just do the Watsons. Okay. We know what they we know what they're like. They're good. Yeah, we like them. Mm. A lot. Shake out a few. Whoops. There we go. We're also always mindful 
that you might be in the UK and watching this video, but in case you're not, we feel the need to describe it a little bit, and we can only liken it to things that we've had or things yeah. that are American. Some people get offended by that. It's not meant to be. No. <laughs> it's not meant to be that way. So this is like kind of a puffy Cheeto, Cheetos. Yeah. what we have here. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I saw you. Yeah, I love them. Mm -hmm. I love them. I always find that I love Cheetos. Don't get me wrong. I love my country too. Don't get me wrong. But I always find that the flavors from these boxes seem way less processed and artificial and all of that. Yeah, the flavors are really good. I like the cheese flavor and the what's it. Yeah, good. yummy. All right. That's a winner. So, cheese and onion, bacon, or salt and vinegar? Mm, let's go salt and vinegar so we can... We might need to mask our, <laughs> our palate a little bit. Yeah. Cleanse our palate with, with bacon. With bacon, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that how everybody cleanses their palate? Mm -hmm. mm, definitely smells vinegary. So, that was a good example. Sorry. Is this a crisp? Right. Or like here we say, we would call this, we wouldn't call this a chip, cheese we would say a cheese puff. puff. Yeah. Or a Cheetos, so I'm, so yeah. I'm just wondering if you're watching from the UK. So, so, so curious. Okay. So, vinegar chips. Crisps. Oh yeah. Right. I love how they smell. What else? Mmm. Mm. Crunchy. Mmm-hmm. Crunchy. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Those are good. I'm not really a fan of salt and vinegar chips, but um, those are like s subtle. I like them. They're not as like punchy in the lips with it. Um, they're not pedal cooked, or are they? They, they feel see, like pedal cooked, but it doesn't yeah. say that they are. And they're super crunchy, crunchier than a normal crisp, I yeah. would say. Yeah. I really like those. Crunchy. Yum. Okay, now what? Uh, cheese and onion. Okay. Let's do these. Jacob's baked Crab crinkly. Bag Baked Crinklies. I love that name, Baked Crinklies. Baked Crinklies. So, so I assume a wavy Ooh. like a Ruffles. But small. Really? Oh, Brown cute. Like a cracker. They're little baby ones. <gasps> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. They are like a wavy cracker. Yeah. Weird. We don't have anything like this, I don't think. Mm, it smells good. Mmm. These are crunchy too. Oops, I got them all on the floor. Why? So you can't them? have any. Those are amazing. Yeah, those are good. I need to hide these right away. I'll sniff them out. I'll find them. The flavor is nice. It's not crazy overbearing, but I but the te and I like it. The texture is what I really, oh, really, good. really like. I love it. I'm a sucker for good cracker. Crackers. I love crackers. In fact, I think I probably choose crackers at the store more often than I do a chip or a crisp or whatever. Yeah. That's like a favorite of mine. That's yummy. Crispy bacon. 39p. <laughs> this is like really pooped up, hard to open. Sniff test. Yeah. Mmm. I love Whoa. They're kind of puffy. Oh, wow. Different. Yeah. Puffy. They kind of look like bacon. They get a little bit of stripe in there. Sometimes artificial bacon we've tried and we've really liked it. And sometimes it comes across not so good. Some things that Some you smell like we have these uh, bacon strips here for dogs. And it smells like that. How kind did of you know? Bacon. This bacon. doesn't. No, this. Some doesn't. some do. It's like, is that a dog treat? Yeah, we've tried these some. These smell. Of them. Yeah, these smell. These are good. They yeah, they don't smell like that. No. Cheers. Cheers. I think we missed, but you know the point. Mmm. It's bacon. Whoa. That is good. Wow, that tastes like you just ate a piece of bacon. What in the world? Wow, that's good. 
Um, that with, is good. Without having, I mean, I know we got a long ways to go, but everything else we have to try is going to have to knock <laughs> this off as being Absolutely. our favorite. That. We're going to rank these when we're done. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I love this. Okay, so I love the texture and I love the flavor and I always ask a million questions. I'm sorry, but I want to know, does this company make the same thing in I other flavors? I'm so curious. Or is their thing, this crispy bacon crisp? That's, yeah, whoa, or, that's awesome. Yeah, frazzles. Are there more flavors of frazzles or is this it? But man, that's really good. That is super, super good. Next, what do we have up on? <laughs> Look, I'm keeping my eyes on those. <laughs> in the seriously, where they just, seriously good. Yeah. That's crazy. We better, here's what has to happen. Those have to be gone before we go to bed or somebody's going to be up for a midnight snack. <laughs> Come with those greasy fingers. Let's do fruity. Help me find. All right. Oh, we have I a curly whirly. A curly whirly is so cute. Um, help me find things that are not. I don't. Oh, drumstick brand. Drumstick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Never have I ever. Yeah. Had rhubarb and custard. Whoa. Sweets or candy. That's a drumstick. Okay, so we yeah. want to end on chocolate. This is fruity. That's fruity. This is fruity. Fruity. Is the rest of it chocolate? I don't know about this guy. That's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay. Mm, the curly whirly we had. Oh, no, no. They, yeah, this is chocolate. I remember. It was like in that shade. Oh, we, we can find out about before. squashies. Have you tried? Well, it has a couple different ones on the back. You want to do squashies first? Sure. We love. Oh, also by the same. Drumstick. Yeah, company. These are sour squashies. Yeah, sour cherry and sour apple. Oh. Interesting. We love a good gummy. Yeah. And we don't mind sour. And we'll certainly oh, eat it squashes. Oh, it smells good. A lot of times we'll get a little fruity candy, you know, like Skittles or something. We'll put them between us when we're watching TV and just kind of have a few here and there. Ooh, you smell good, that's, huh? That's smell good. Thank you. Ooh, that's soft. And here's the other thing. There's nothing wrong with the other kind of gummy that are more translucent, but every time I have some that are like these that are kind of marshmallowy, I always appreciate them so much. And sometimes they take this kind of texture and mix them with the other kind of gummy, and I really love that too. Yeah. I think I just really love gummy candy. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that. Oh, what does that say? Squashies, have you tried? Mm. They have refreshers mm. and drumsticks. That's what this is. Oh, this is the same company. I mean, I can't tell the flavors on those, though. These are good, though. I like them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like how soft these refreshers feel. So these look just like a Starburst that we yeah. have here. I think you have them if you're watching from the UK. Well, I feel like no matter, even if you're watching from the moon or wherever. I feel like Starbursts are kind of like <laughs> everywhere. These feel like that. They do feel softer. Yeah. Yes. And what did it, what did I want to tell you? Strawberry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how soft they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do too. That's good. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's good. Rhubarb and custard. What will they think of next? My mind is blown by this. Yeah. I don't know if I like rhubarb. The only time we have like rhubarb things in the States is if it's like homemade. Usually we don't get a lot of like uh, candies or. I've stuff never like seen that. it. Mmm. And when we do, it's like rhubarb pie. Yeah. We were both picky eaters. I know my mom made it when I was little and I was like. Ass. I remember my mom and my grandma saying something about rhubarb, and yeah, it was the same thing. I was like, what is that? It's green grown out of the ground. It looks like celery. Uh, yeah, it looks <laughs> funny, and uh, yeah, no. Uh, hard pass. Yeah, me too. But... There you go. 
Sorry, I made, <laughs> whoop, I made you a unicorn horn. Unicorn horn. All right, here we go. Test I'm so interested in what this is going to be like. Ready, go. Oh, stick. Hmm. So I'm interested to know. I'm sure they have other flavors, but they included this one because it's such a unique flavor. Mm. I don't hate it. It's really different. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's my new favorite flavor. I'm trying to get used to it because I've never had rhubarb candy before. Yeah. You can really tell the rhubarb, though. It's different. Very I like it. Earthy kind of flavor. Mm hmm It almost... Um... There's almost like a clove mm -hmm. or yeah. like some sort of seasoning or mm. spice or something or herb or I don't know. It almost gives me a hint of that. Stuck to the roof of my mouth. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't like it better than like maple or blueberry, mm -hmm. but That's I good. like it and we'll eat that. Yeah. And I would buy that again. And let us know if like rhubarb is something that is popular over... In the UK and, and yeah. you know, do you have other candies that have rhubarb? Well, like they tell us that um, they don't see grape very often, like yeah, we do currant. here. Yeah. So they use black currant. And we've grown to really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think before these boxes I had ever had black currant anything. Right. That I know of. We just don't see it here. Yep. We sure don't. On to chocolates. Chocolate. Yeah. Choose your weapon. This has nuts in it. So we'll set that aside. Let's let's do a nut check real quick. You do a nut check. <laughs> I, I'm gonna open this thing of old teasers. We know what these are. We can get these here. We love them. We can also get whoppers here and they are not at all the same. But we know we like this, so let's fun. just eat one while you're looking. Okay. Raisin and biscuit. Mmm. What popular. was the thing, by the way? Some of my new favorite candies I dream about in the UK. There was one that had all sorts of bits and bobbles in it, and it didn't have nuts, but it had like candy and cookie pieces. And was that a medley bar? Oh, yeah, I think it was. I loved that. All right. So this kind of looks like that to me. Yeah. Wasn't it Cadbury? I think we've had one of these fruit and nut bars, though. I, I'm pretty sure. Why don't I just bust that open and get that out of the way? You go ahead and I'll eat them all together. All right. Oh my goodness. From that uh, rhubarb <laughs> drumstick thing, my fingers are sticky. Mine aren't. Did you check all the rest of these? Yeah. Was there something else? I didn't see anything else. Mm, this is for you. Yeah, I love wafery no, stuff like that. But also. <laughs> time out. <laughs> you gonna put me in time out? Yeah. Fruit, uh, dairy milk, fruit and nut chopped. I'm so curious. I wanna know. I'm trying not to touch. Yeah. What I wanna know, here you look. Is it a single fruit or is it multiple? And what's the fruit? That's what I wanna, I wanna know. Is it raspberry? Is it orange? Ingredients. It raisins? Um, it's milk chocolate with dried grapes and chopped almonds. Is a dried grape different than a raisin? I think it is. <laughs> I think a dried grape is a raisin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have one of those napkins over there, please? You mean my only napkin? No, I gave you two. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. So, what kind of nuts? Uh, almonds. Oh. Hmm. And what did you think? Good. It's good. I don't know. Not my favorite. I'm trying to yeah. think what I've had, what chocolate I've had that had raisins in it. I know I've had something, but I've... Yeah, we'll have I cookies really, with raisins, but not a lot of chocolate. Well, I really like raisin nuts, which are just single oh, yeah. covered raisins. But I'm trying to think if we, in the state, somebody tell me, or I'll look when we're done. What I feel like there is a candy bar that has raisins in it. But I can't think of what it is. Besides raisin nuts. Not that it's important. I'm just curious. All right. Now, you want to do this one? Yeah, let's do the wafer. This is a timeout bad boy John wafer. <laughs> Going to timeout. John loves all things wafery. 
all things wafery. Don't you? Oh, sure. He loves a good wafer treat. Yeah. A lot of these wafers have hazelnut in it. I looked and I didn't see anything on this, but... Here wafer you. with cocoa filling covered in milk chocolate. Okay. And we're good. There we go. I'll take my piece. Yeah. I was holding it like this in case there was any flaky bits. Mm. And John's like, whoosh. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like that time out. That's good. Mm. Sometimes the wafer is really crunchy and sometimes there's more wafer than chocolate or vice versa. That is a perfect ratio for me. Oh, that's really good. I love it. All right. Let's see. Maybe the boost. Okay. Six to three on the boost. Caramel nibbles. <laughs> Did you check the label? Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. There we go. That caramel, obviously. I mean, this looks good. I mean, anytime you get that kind of thing going on. Yeah. Nice cheese pull on your caramel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the crunchy stuff is in there. Hopefully not nuts. Mm -mm. Just kidding, just kidding. It's like crunchy little... Oh, I love that. That, because I can't have nuts, that reminds me of... Um, it's not the same at all as Snickers. But where you have chocolate and caramel and crunchy bits in it, that's... Yeah. Yeah. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Twix. Like, different, though, because it's got the cookie. Yeah. Different, but it's get boosted with milk chocolate, caramel, and biscuit energy. Ooh, biscuit, biscuit energy. Biscuit energy. Whoa. That's good. That's really good. It's not, it's not really similar to either Twix or Snickers, but I miss having, you know, of course I can eat like a Mars bar or a Milky Way or Three Musketeers or something like that, but I miss eating a candy bar with the crunchies in it, mm -hmm. and the UK does a lot more of that than we do. Yeah. Galaxy's Ripple is up next. Ripple. 60p for this one, too. Uh-oh. Seems a little flaky. Yay! Oh, but look. It's, like, covered. It's, like, airy and flaky like a flake, sort of, but it's covered with chocolate. Give it to me. Mm. I'm going to try not to make a huge mess with it. I, I will try. fell in love with flake bars. Well, you guys have helped me learn so much about the little, um, like marketing on them and what this feels very. Let's well, not. I can't move my hand. <laughs> it or feels it'll very fall similar. Out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have stuff like that here? Mmm. Yeah, and I wonder if they do the same thing with this as like the flake bar with like ice cream. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's I don't good. know, but we need to do that with ice cream. I mean, yeah, we do. I love I that the airy and the crinkly. What do you want to call it? It like falls apart, and if it falls apart like that when you're trying to break it up, it definitely does that in your mouth. Oh yeah, amazing. I have to pick a favorite from this box. Oh and my then. gosh, it's gonna be ridiculous. All right, let's try the your game, raisin and biscuit. Oh, well, if I'd never thought I'd had a raisin candy bar before, I'm about Guess to. Guess what? <laughs> there you go. I'm going to break off a square or a cube or whatever that is. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I think we had a chunky bar like this in the States. Not not very popular now, but it, I think when we were kids they were more popular. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't think we're going to try the Curly Whirly because we've already tried that yes, in a recent are. video. <laughs> I don't 
remember it. I have them um, overruled. Wait, I don't remember it. <gasps> oh, I remember it. It's like, it looks like Swiss cheese kind of, and it's caramel, right? It's like pulley. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, now that I opened it, I'm gonna try it. Thanks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I like that too. Yeah, it's good, I love caramel. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the chewy kind, you know, mm -hmm. you get the two different kinds, some that are just like liquid almost. And then some that you kind of chew on. I appreciate them both. Yeah, me too. And Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel Nibbles. Mm. Nibbles. Yeah. Oh. Mm. It reminds me of those like galaxy ones. The little, I don't remember what they're called. What? Is there caramel in these? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I love those. <laughs> mm hmm. I like that. That's good. That's like the it. kind of stuff, though, that's dangerous. They're all open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That could easily be gone, you know, in an episode of <laughs> whatever you're watching. Like love and junk, <laughs> it could easily be gone. Be gone before wow. you know it. This is a good box. They've all been good. We really, really enjoy these. Uh, you know, we're not sponsored by them. We just appreciate them and love their channel, love their boxes, love all of the feedback that we get from you, even when we're dumb, <laughs> even when we ask dumb questions. Nothing has knocked off these, though. Those were fantastic. You ready to rake? Oh, I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. Okay. So, Chris, Number one overall. <laughs> I mean, I... So, here's the thing. We kind of talk about loving things or junking things. Loving means hurry, run, buy more. It's limited edition. We need more for us. We need uh, more for everybody in our life we need everybody to try it i'm gonna send out for these these um <laughs> then the middle category is we're gonna finish this but we would probably never buy it again and then we have this is probably gonna get passed off on somebody go out for squirrels whatever yeah ours by the way unrelated we have some of the happiest squirrels in the <laughs> world and the, usually there this is our um slider right here and or our what do you call this patio door yeah yeah and so usually there's um our cat likes to sit there and that's where we throw out popcorn and crisps and stuff that we're not eating and they come right there and the cat sits and watches Stares them, them yeah. yeah unrelated to anything that we were talking about but anyway uh so we throw stuff out to them those are the three kind of categories there is nothing here nothing hey Nothing in any of the British boxes that we've ever got that we've said, oh, we're never eating that again. Oh, no, we, we have eaten eat every single thing. We've liked things better than others, of course, mm -hmm. you know, personal preference. But we've never thrown anything out from a British box. Mm -hmm. We no. can't say that snack crate and some other things that we bought for ourselves, we can't say that about that. Yeah. But British box, never. Usually it's like our old bread that... You know, we're not going to eat anymore. And popcorn. Popcorn, because I can never get the amount right. And when I make it, there's always more. So, yeah, usually that's about it. But but nothing from these boxes ever. Anyway. Uh, absolutely. Let's, I literally have little bits of cho chocolate. like. Oh, oh, yeah. It's okay. Great. Great, great, do you great. want me to go or do you want to oh, go? You, can, you go. How about you go? All right. You never go first. Number one overall. I think I already said that. Here's what I have to say. That would be hard pressed. You know what we should do? We should go back and look at all of our British boxes. We have one little itty bitty snack crate that we did when we were brand spanking new before we knew anything about YouTube. Our very first snack crate trial box was from the mm -hmm. UK. And then we've had four from this company. Yeah. We should go back and look at everything we've tried from the UK and like rank our Overall. favorite things. I can tell you this would be in my top 10 for sure. Oh, absolutely. Possibly top five. Yep. Then I would rank these crackers 
baked crinkles, watsits, and then salt and vinegar chips. Those were very good. I love the crunch. I love the texture of it. As far as salt and vinegar chips, those would be on my list. Of They're good. very good, but we can get salt and vinegar chips here. Yeah. I would rank them exactly the same. We cannot get anything like this. We can get not, not get anything like this. We can get something similar to this, but it tastes different. And we can get good salt and vinegar chips. So for that reason, I would rank them the same. Yep. Loved all right. them all, but loved, loved those. Aha. Next up, uh, fruity, 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 fruity. Okay, fruity. Get these. Is that it? Yep. I think that's it. Um, what do you think? That would be my order. Mine too. So I love these squashies or whatever they're called. Everybody whatever has they're. a personal preference. You might prefer chocolates over gummies or, you know, whatever. We love gummy candy, and we can get them here, but not really so much with that yeah. kind of texture. Right. And I love the two te the two flavors in one. Yeah. I really like those. Those were amazing. The flavor was really good. And we're not the biggest, like, strawberry fans, but as far as artificial strawberry flavor, these were good, but we can get something like this. Yeah. So that, that's why this is at the end for me. Rhubarb. This was so different and interesting. Yeah. I, you know what though, what I'm going to tell you, uh, competing with this for my favorite thing in British boxes ever, the stinger that I had. Oh, you love that. I one. loved it. And so everything like this makes Must me makes me stinger. wish it was a stinger um but i love that we can't get this flavor here that's so unique and different and i really loved it that's my order it's my order too okay good all right chocolates so. are a little bit more difficult i need to rank. yeah let's see do you is that all of them uh nope right here got these here I, for me, I love this timeout wafer. That I think half good. of it just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of it did. I love the boost bar after that. Here, you gotta move on a single um, thing. You can't get that. Oh no! I know. Oh, teasers everywhere. Just, that's why they were folded down there. <laughs> uh, so I'll throw those up there. So wafers, boost, small teasers. Um, Yorkie, this curly whirly, these it's caramel delicious. bars, and I'm gonna say the fruit and nut last. I'm not really a big fan of fruit and love. So that, that's good. That's that's what I would do. Um. All right. So I really did like the wafer bar, but it wasn't my favorite thing. I think. What was this one? That's oh. the raisin and biscuit. Okay. My favorite was this. The boost? Mm hmm. Okay. It was my favorite. This was second for me. Mm -hmm. I just love, it's just a little bit. And yeah, sometimes that I just want a little that was something. Really good. Um, I'm going to say the curly whirly probably after that. No, no. Sorry. Yeah, ripple. This <laughs> is going here. I don't like it as much as I like flake. Woo! But I like it very, very, very much. So it's going near the top. Good, good, good. Um, curly whirly, then curly this. Whirly. This I couldn't try because it has nuts, so we'll leave that off to the side. This I liked, um, but I mean, everything has to, I didn't like it as much as I liked these things down here. Yeah. Well, teasers I'm gonna put here. I really, really, really love them, but we can get them here. Indeed. So wow. let us Wonderful know box. of if you've tried all of these things, what you would rank as your favorite or your least favorite down in the comments. Yeah. We, we really appreciate all the chit chat we've been doing with you guys. And if you weren't aware, if you didn't see the video, we are putting our post office box down in the description. We've had some of you contact us and ask if you can send us a box, and the answer is yes. We would love it. Oh, we'd love will it. Will we do a video? Absolutely, 100%. Yes, we will open your um, treats just just like this um, yeah. in, a, in a video. So Can't we wait. look forward to that. Never feel like you have to. We appreciate all the love, support, watches. Comments. You, yeah, you certainly yeah. don't have to send us any 
anything at all. And you don't have to be from the UK to send us something either. If you're in the States and you want to see, have you ever tried this? Definitely you can send it to us. But, yeah, absolutely. Um, we read every single comment. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And sometimes we take your notes. Um, you know, and sometimes there are things that we've talked about before in, in some of the comments, like the chi chips and crisp thing. We really do try to make a conscious effort. But like I said, we're old. We've been saying chips our whole life. It's it's difficult, but we're trying. Yes. So just be patient with us. We're also Americans. So that's <laughs> what we say. We say chips and we say french fries. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We say, we say french fries a lot. Oh, yeah. I love our french fries. Anyway, so we appreciate you hanging out and watching another box with us. We can't wait to see what's in the next one. Right. Uh, don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms. Please. We're there. You know what they are. We yeah. are love and junk just like we are here. Um, on Pinterest, you can see what we're going to be doing or like our inspiration for our house remodel, renovation, redecorating. On Instagram, you sometimes get a preview of things we're not going to do or maybe we're going to do for a video but it's not going up yet or what we had for dinner or pictures of our kitty cat yeah you know stuff whatever. like that we do different things on the different platforms is what i'm saying if you're on twitter uh we post our videos on twitter and anyway so find us on all of those platforms and now if you are a fan of british food which yeah. I don't, I'm really nervous about the airplane ride because <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not that good of a flyer. Yeah. Laura gets nervous. Uh, Laura gets very nervous. But I really, 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 as soon as the world is safe, want to visit. Oh, yeah. That is in that my top. So there's fun. a couple of places that I'd really like to see. As far as our country, I really want to see Alaska. Mm -hmm. Um, but John just asked me what would be a, a dream trip, and this that's the first place I said. Yeah, that'd be great. So we would love to do that in the future. So, you know, that would be really interesting. Maybe we can meet up with some of you. Yeah, we have that'd friends. Be awesome. We have friends uh, that are there. So, uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see. First, the world has to get fixed, then we'll see where we're at. But anyway, if you like any of that stuff, or us through the video, then, or. Alex and Kate. Yeah. From this with them. Or Kate Wait. and Alex. <laughs> what did I say? Alex, Alex and Kate. Kate. See, well, sometimes. Thing. Alex always goes, they said yeah. Alex first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if people say John and Laura or Laura and John. Hmm. Probably just love and junk. Personal <laughs> preference. Anyway, if you like any of that stuff or us or the video, then give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel. Yeah. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.